Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another home project. So today I'm going to be filling up this built-in custom cabinet that I built. So if you caught the last video, I spent many, many days building this cabinet. It is currently the love of my life, including four wall control panels on drawer poles so I can pull them out, easy access, they're very tall. These are metal pegboards and they are 16 by 32. I believe they're aluminum. They are gorgeous. They are very sturdy. I have two full boxes of all the accessories that you could want to hang tools, craft supplies, paper towels, anything you want on them really you could use them a million different ways i know a friend who used one for a nursery and it looks so cute they come in a million different colors this whole room is very um blush my washer and dryer are champagne colored because who wouldn't want champagne colored after i bought my house um it came with all the kitchen appliances but if I had had to buy kitchen appliances separately, the champagne washer and dryer have matching champagne kitchen appliances and I am dying inside that I don't have them, but you know. I'm not such a nut that I would replace brand new appliances with other brand new appliances just for color. So either way, I want this space to be very feminine, very pretty, but also very, very functional. I need to be able to use it. I need to be able to grab my um, power drill or my circular saw and work on these projects without having to dig for 12 years. I also needed space for my dogs. So you can see I have the two built-in kennels at the bottom. I also have this drawer here. Doo -doo 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 that has built-in storage on a, on a long drawer pull because this cabinet is 30 inches deep. Like if I stand here, I can't even touch the back of it. And so I knew if I didn't put a drawer pull on that bottom cabinet, I would never get anything I shoved in down there out. It would just be there forever. <laughs> so essentially, now that the cabinet is built and beautiful, I need to take all of the things that were here before. I will put a big before shot real quick up. This is what the laundry room looked like before. And all of the things that were here now need to go away neatly in a way I can use them. So that is what we are going to start on. And then we are going to break open those wall control boxes we're going to organize all of my tools on these pegboards. So I am really excited. If you don't know, organizing is kind of my drug of choice. So this is like very exciting for me. Also, don't worry, the whole thing will have doors, but for now we're gonna organize it and then we're going to put doors on it later once I decide exactly what they're going to look like so that I can build them. Well, let's get started. I've got literally copious amounts of things on the floor right under the tripod. All the tools that I've been using in here that I've shoved out of the way to get the pretty finished shots and to start this video. So we are going to start putting them in the cabinet. Starting with this guy. I finally broke down. I bought the big charger for my batteries. I have so many tools now. Charging one battery at a time just to keep cutting it. Mom's here. I bought the big six battery charger and I drill holes in the back so that I can plug it in right in the cabinet. I think this might be my favorite thing I've ever done. I'm gonna go let Mama in. Apparently she doesn't know where her key is. All right, 
So we have two boxes here from Wall Control. And I don't even remember. what I asked for. Wall Control sent me all kinds of fun goodies to play with. But I wasn't 100% sure what exactly I was going to put on these. I just knew tools were going to be involved. So let's see. Boxes are packed really well. So, some big hooks, I was hoping I got these, so these go on a rail and you can put like screws and things in them. Two of them. This is a whole set of just different hooks and holders and brackets and all little things that you can use. <coughs> Three of them. I was really hoping I'd ordered those because I have so many things I can put in them, but I couldn't remember. This I'm really excited about. It's the rail for those. So there should be, yeah, three of them. we have, I believe this holds the, yeah, drills. I'm so excited about this, you guys. Like, you don't even understand. You don't even understand. Organizing is like my love language. This is like Christmas. And of course, I mean, this is not my first pegboard. I have done many, many, many pegboards in my life. I have big, beautiful pink and white one that I just put together in my craft room. Y'all still haven't even seen that. I have the floor to ceiling one I did at the glass house in my craft room that held tools and craft supplies. But these are the first metal ones I've had, and so far I really like them. They're very sturdy. I was not expecting these boxes to be put together so well. I should have uh, should have unpacked them or opened them first. I wanted y'all to see everything as I unboxed it. <laughs> All right, take two. and sticker it up. I love a good tote bag. I don't know what I'll put in here, but I'm sure, I'm sure there will be something. That's so cute too. It has their logo on it. And I think this is actually a, a magnet. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, keep going. Little box. I hope I ordered enough little cakes. But we'll find out. I can always order more, right? He sent presents. That is cute too. I don't drink coffee, but I will put hot cocoa in that for sure. That was so sweet of them. You know, I love good companies. I have met them um, at the conference that I go to, Haven. They are the sweetest people. 
So we have this guy that holds cans of spray paint. And this is a magnet bar. I don't know why, but I was really excited about this. Because you can just stick it on, obviously level it, but now look at this. And you just toss stuff up there. Like, I love how well thought out their things are. Also, that's strong. It didn't scratch it. I was worried it had scratched the surface. I want to keep these pretty for as long as possible. So I got two of those. I like those because you can toss anything metal up there. You can put a tape measure on it. You can put screwdrivers on it. All those little bits and weird elbows and things. All kinds of random stuff. All right. Now we're getting to the big stuff. So this is the shelf with the paper towel holder that I wanted. Especially because, yes, this cabinet is for tools, but it's also for laundry room and it's also for dogs. What do you need with dogs? Paper towels. Okay, that's everything. I'm assuming these are the regular shelves. Yes. And they had, I don't, like, don't quote me, but they had two or three different sizes of shelves. I got those smallest ones because my pegboards here, if I had a two foot shelf, they would interfere with each other. So, I'm so excited about this. I guess let's start taking stuff out and seeing what which configuration will be the best? I am going to need to put heavier tools, like my drills, on the two outside pegboards because those are on the walls and they are directly in studs. So these pegboards are sturdy, very, very sturdy. These pegboards have a center support that's a three quarter inch plywood piece that goes up and down along this metal support here. It's also very sturdy, but not as sturdy, of course, as the one in the studs. So I'm going to try to put things like screwdrivers and tape measures and clamps, littler things on these, and then heavier things like drills and power tools on these. <coughs> Hopefully that will also give me a slimmer profile since those lighter items should have a slimmer profile and a heavier profile. That way I still can get to the back of my cabinet. All right, so I'm thinking. My mom would say that's never good, but she's not here. So the way that these work, I might have to go grab scissors. Is that they hook into the vertical slots here. them down. And that should be pretty darn sturdy. is I do have a small part organizer coming um, that I will either put on one of these pegboards if I have enough room or on one of the back shelves. 
in, and that's a small part organization that's all one piece with lots of little drawers and compartments. So I'll put a lot of the screws in there that are more specialty, things you might use for one project, but you know, I use a lot of like inch and a quarter pocket screws all the time. So I would put those in one of these because once they're on the rack, you can just lift it off. So I can come in here and take this whole piece full of screws to whatever project I'm working on and then bring it back and put it back on the pegboard as opposed to having to fill through the small parts organizer, get the few that I need and then put them like on a plate or a baggie or something. It's still a fine solution, but this will be much easier. gonna be so cool you guys I'm just gonna keep saying that like I'm not even joking this is my happy place and I do apologize I will give you a tour of every single piece how I used it how I organized everything when it's done but it is getting dark, so we're gonna have to use artificial lights. And I'm probably gonna time lapse putting some of this together because y'all, I have a lot of stuff. Organizing it is gonna take a minute. I know y'all don't wanna watch that, so I won't make you. But we'll time lapse it. Once I get it all organized, I will show you how it comes together. So far, slightly obsessed. I also did want to show you real quick before I get started on the montage is that the way this whole system works, it has the vertical lines here and that works with the wall control pegs. And the wall control pegs are sturdy and the way they lock into place, they, these bars don't come off. The pegs don't come off the way traditional pegs sometimes do when you grab a hammer or a screwdriver off the wall. Now, it does have the holes for traditional pegs and I have boxes and boxes of those for my other peg boards. So if you have those, which most people who have a workroom of any kind have pegs from other projects, you can still use those here if you have pegs that you like for your tools or if you just don't want to order a million pieces to replace what you already have, they will work together. So this is actually a cup that I ordered on Amazon maybe, I don't remember. So this is actually a cup that's left over from my craft room project. I have lots of my Cricut pins inside. Um, all of these in different colors on that pegboard, but I didn't need this last one and it has the traditional pegs. So you can see, it's easier if you do it in two steps. There we go. That it does still work with the wall control system. 
and I might use this in here because I have, you know, pencils and pens and things that I think would work in this little cup better than one of these little baskets. So let's put this stuff together. I have to turn the lights on. It's pretty light over there because y'all are right next to a door, but um, this cabinet is dark in here. Good luck. One more thing to point out. Um, when you're hanging things on the pegboards, you can see that there's supports at the top and at the bottom. If you were installing these onto a wall, they are 16 inches wide, which is the perfect width for studs so that you can install these directly into studs and they are super stable. They have one, two, three, four outside spots for studs and then two in the middle. So that's six screws directly into studs they're gonna be super, super stable. On the drawer slides, they are still super stable. I put quite a few screws into studs at the top and at the bottom. When I planned this cabinet, I did not know there was middle supports or I would have added a drawer slide in the middle as well for extra support. I may go back and do that if I find that these are having a problem. But with all of that being said, if you're having um, if you're putting heavy things like your drills on your pegboards on the drawer slides, then you either need to put them at the bottom near that stud or the top near that stud just to be a little more stable. I don't know how true that is, but that's what daddy said. Daddy taught me everything I know about building things like this cabinet, so we listened to All of the shelves are pretty much instinctual. You put on the sides and then the top, but in case they're not, they do include instructions. So far, the only thing that's caught me up is that the drill holder and the paint holder need um, two spots in between, whereas most of the other things just need two. This guy is my absolute heaviest tool. And while I do think all these are very, very, very sturdy, he also takes up a lot amount of room. So I'm going to put him on the shelf behind. I think that's just better for everyone. Also, they sent me like where is it? This little envelope. 
says thank you and wall control in one of the bags. And it has my invoice, which thank you, but since they sent all this to me, I didn't um, necessarily need that as much as I would normally. They also sent a cute little sticker and the entire catalog, which is nice because even though the website is easy enough to understand, I'm still old fashioned and I like being able to look through this and see how they use all the different parts. That was a little hard on the website was not seeing all the parts, but seeing how they were used in different ways. Like right here, they have this set up for a laundry room and I'll try to put a closer look. They have instead of paper towels, they have hangers on that bar. Like how genius is that? That's really smart. Okay. More stuff. Another load of stuff. Okay, so I got a lot of it figured out, but this is kind of be my um, miscellaneous kind of board where I hang things that just need pegs. So I'm trying to sort out exactly what it's going to look like. Not quite sure yet.
All right, y'all, as you can see, we got quite a bit done the other night, but not all of it on camera because it just got way too dark. And most of the things I started organizing were the tedious dog things, cleaning things, stuff y'all don't really care about. But I will show you full tour of the cabinet, how I organized it. We have just a few things left to put on the pegboard. And now that it's all organized, that should be pretty easy. So, I just love that. Got my hammer to go with the mallet. That hangs down a lot more. Maybe let's put the hammer in the back and the mallet in the front. That way we can still access those tools if we need them. Now let's see about this guy. I've already done a few projects <laughs> in the last couple days. I hung an expandable drying rack and I built a large storage box for outdoor pieces like scrap wood. And I know that I'm biased and all, but I just feel like this made it so much easier to find all my tools. I knew exactly where every single thing was. are one of those things that a lot of times are cheap and just don't work very well. I'd rather have tools that work properly than are pink. But I found a few that I really like um, and that I can grab and are sturdy. So I grabbed a few new ones. I have just a few basic tools that I've had for years that my dad gave me things from my grandfather they're never going to break. They're going to be great forever, but I've had them for years, like 10 years or so. And they're just, uh, not maybe what I want displayed on my pegboard, which is a silly thing, but it's true. So of course I'll still use those. There's, I mean, they were my grandfather's so They'll probably be around longer than I will. I'll keep them in my toolbox. I use them when I go places. Use them when there's more than one person here. We need to work on projects. There we go. Is that everything? Yep, that's everything. All right, so let's start with a little tour of what y'all can see. So the top here is, I mean, it has supports all the way down and it has cleats around the outside, but of course the top is still the least stable part of the whole cabinet. Even though these cleats are in studs, they should be very sturdy. I still wanted to put lighter storage at the top. So I have all of my Mikasa boxes, which are from my Good Wedding China. Does anybody else feel the need to keep old boxes? <laughs> I don't do it for my everyday dishes, but these are my French countryside plates and platters and pieces, the larger storage bins. I am still probably going to move at least once more in my life. I like to pack them back in the original boxes. Then I have the accompanying trash can that I have to the ones at the bottom. And I decided since I moved all my scrap wood outside to that large storage bin that I would put anything that would fit in this trash can in this trash can up high. So these are all my smaller pieces of scrap wood. That way, if I need a piece for a small project, I don't have to go outside to get it. One day when I have a storage shed and I can have a workroom of my own and keep all my scrap wood together. But for now, this is a better solution than my previous solution, which was put scrap wood in every corner of the house. Then I have my larger 
decorations for my fish aquariums and my larger uh, dog kennels and bags for when I take them on trips or if I'm bringing a puppy somewhere, picking up a puppy somewhere, all of those things. And this is my tool section. So in the back, I have three shelves. And on the top shelf, I have three clear bins, one with glues and tapes and fasteners, one with sandpapers, and one, what's in that middle one? Does anybody remember? Ah, my extra Dremel pieces and drill bits, the larger ones that I don't use every day. Um, those are all in that. So then the second shelf are my larger tools, like my brad nailer, my circular saw, um, my big heat gun, my Dremel saw max, my respirator, and my crank pieces that I'm going to use to put doors on this baby, hopefully next month. The third shelf, which is this shelf at the back, are my um, gallons of paint and primer for the shelf for when I do the doors. The extra cock tubes next to my cock gun on my pegboard. And then I drilled two holes through these two boards in the very back. And I ran the cords through so that I could have my battery charging stations right back here. If I need a battery, I can just grab it, pop it on my drills and go. Might be really excited about that. All right, so then this back pegboard is anything that needs to be on a shelf that can't necessarily hang. So we've got my little mouse sander, we've got my um, impact drivers and drill bits, um, screwdriver heads, things like that. We've got my pocket hole pieces. I use these all the time. So I tried to work the things that I reach for all the time, like my pocket hole jig, like my drivers, like my screwdrivers, like my level up, up front where I can easily access them at a moment's notice. And the things like gallons of paint that I'm not going to use that often are at the back. And then the top is my extra drivers, drill bits, sorry, some extra quart cans and some WD-40. Of course, I have my paper towels, and then I did sneak an extra um, U-hooks down here for my larger clamp. All right, so let's do this side, and then we'll turn you all around. I think this one might be my favorite, because I love small parts organization, honestly. I spent probably two, three hours organizing this guy every day with all of the screws and washers and pieces that I could ever use that I want that I've hoarded in a shoebox for years. And it was so satisfying. When I was a little girl, my dad had one of these, not pink, black. And I don't know why, I'm just an organizer at heart. I can remember going in his workshop and going through the drawers of screws and nails and just like it's my happy place. I don't know why. So it made me very happy to finally get my own small port organizer. And I like that this one can hold my bigger bulk screws, things that I reach for all the time. Um, like when I worked downstairs on that large storage box under my back deck, I grabbed this bin and I just took it downstairs with me and I don't have to count out the six screws that I need and hold them in my pocket and just grab that and go. So you can see this is essentially all the most used screws. These are normal wood screws, large screws. These gray ones are self um, countersinking. So I reach those a lot. Then I've got the same ones, but in bronze because I have a lot of bronze fixtures and you want the screws to match. Those are also wood screws. We've got the brads that I reach for the most often, large and small. I debated putting these here because typically once I load my brad gun, 
that that strip is going to last for a long time and I've got all my rugs down here so it's not like I can't just reach for this when I need them but I don't know I may switch things around after I live with it for a while I wanted them on the wall these are my inch and a quarter pocket screws which are the ones I reach for the most and then the back bin are the pieces for my larger drill when I want to use my auger out in the garden and all the extra bins and hooks and pieces that I have for my pegboard. I use most of them. All right, ready to see the other side? Well, I guess let's do the bottom real quick because there's not much to it. The bottom, of course, are my dog kennels. Oh, my cat's eating dog food. Lily, you have cat food. She does this a lot. I talked to the vet about it, but short of not leaving dog food out, there's not much I can do. She just likes the taste. I don't even know if y'all can see her. <laughs> this is my shop vac and my Abyssal Little Green Machine. This is my work toolbox. That's the word. And then I have a basket of clamps. This is probably not the best way to store these. I write corner clamps, but um, but they're all just little bits and bobs and parts, and I just put them in a basket. One day I will get more big clamps, and then I will have a bigger problem, but for now this works. Behind my handy dandy small parts organizer, love of my life, are both of my Wagner spray guns. I probably use those once or twice a month, which means once or twice a month, I will have to take this out to access those. I'm not sure I love that idea because I don't want to spill these. So I may switch things around, like I said, as I live with them. But for now, I liked this arrangement best. This side of the laundry room still is going to get a whole makeover, including a shelf where y'all are sitting for um, dog food, laundry detergent, my miter saw and my wet saw, and then things may change. I'm also gonna put two shelves over the washer and dryer so that I can put pretty things on them as well as extra storage. So we may shift some stuff around as that part happens. I'm not sure exactly. For now, this works. And then of course, my bottom shelf are all my fish supplies. This is all plants, the ones that aren't in my aquariums at the moment. These are all foods and things in my other bin. And then I've got all my filter parts and nets in this one. So I like that these are sturdy and that they're cleanable because if you've ever had an aquarium, you know that no matter how hard you try, things get covered in sand. So. When those get covered in sand, I can just take them outside and hose them off. Now let's switch stuff, y'all, so you can see inside the cabinets better, and I'll give you a tour of the other two sides. All right, y'all, ready for the other side? So here, I have my level, my squares, my cock gun more clamps. My ear protection. I finally got ear protection for all of y'all that have watched this video or any of my other building videos. Every time I use the miter saw or anything, I'm like, I gotta get some ear protection. And I finally did. So now I can be safe while working on tools. I also got some safety glasses, but they're not here yet. They'll go right here. Of course, have my respirator in the back that I use when I spray things paint-wise, but now we can be safe all the time. And mom has her paint respirator at home, but I got her a set of ear protection as well because she typically is here before using the sauce. Then I've got my axe, which I will never use, but it was my dad's when he was a little boy in Boy Scouts. So it has a place of honor where I can see it. Just, I don't know, sentimental like that. Then I have my multi-tool and my reciprocating saw. 
last but not least, most used board of all, my garden drill, which it, you don't have to have a garden drill. You can use one drill for both things, but I find that this drill gets dirtier than the others with my auger. You can see it. It's a bit of dirt on it. It also has attachments where I can put a handle on it, which when I'm using my auger is very handy. My normal drill, brand new and driver that I just got and I think might be my new favorite thing of all time. Never knew I needed one until I got it. I also have my little, um, every once in a while they do come out a little bit, but they only ever go to the second part here and then you can readjust them. They're not like normal pegs where they just come flying out of the wall, which is nice right angle attachment for my drill, which is great for working in tight spaces. Then I have some of my transfers that I use when I'm doing furniture projects. So that's it. I hope you guys liked this project. Sounds like the dogs do. If you do stick around, I am going to be adding drawers to this soon. And I can't wait to show you what that looks like. Bye y'all. One more thing before I go, I forgot to mention when I looked at this side of everything is that on the far side of this magnetic strip, I did add just a few drill bits and heads and things for my, my screwdrivers. The ones that I use a lot for all my common size screws and projects. That way I don't have to open up my bins every single time I need a common size. It's a lot easier. Okay, bye for real.